What up, people? It's your boy, Master Chudy out here with another comic review. So we got Doomsday Clock number four. You know, finally, it's coming out every two months now, so, you know. It's been a while, but we back at it. And this is very intriguing. We see us delve into the mind of Rorschach 2.0 which is a very good method of storytelling. We get to know his history, we get to know his motivations and whatnot, and I think it does well. Take a break from Ozymandias, a comedian, Superman and Batman at the moment. Let's go into this. So, we see him remember the pancakes that Alfred made, or he just likes pancakes in general. And he's like, syrup glistens, seeps into the butter soaked flapjacks, stocked high, silver fork with initials and on end weights. I see what I want to see, but the plate smells of bleach and sweat-soaked rags. There is no fork. There are no pancakes. And so he's in prison, where he was set up and sent in Arkham Asylum, where Bruce just left him. And that, what are you staring at next? So they say, Joey Kennedy lived across the street. Yelled, slur yelled slurs, stole lunch money, made me eat a handful of worms, even chewed up, they wiggled, even chewed up, they wiggled down the throat, pieces still wiggling when I threw them up. Never fought back. Never thought to. Never saw so as a fighter, so... They call him a fish right now, as we see in property. D, D, D and Dumb are watching you. They'll go for you. Won't be as gentle as me. You sit with me. You eat with me. You'll be fine. I protect you. I protect my property. I was just five years old. The first time I saw a mushroom cloud. So, this goes back to the Watchmen world. And this talks about, um... Talking about Dr. Manhattan's entrance into Vietnam, although President Nixon believes Viet Cong surrender is now foregone conclusion, many are still questioning the fallout from sending Dr. Manhattan into an active war zone. So just keeping up with the news. And um, we see that this is a young um, Rorschach 2.0, and his parents are looking at this news and saying, maybe we should move. And it's like, move where? I don't know. You don't want to move, do you, Reggie? You love the Yankees. And so Reggie's his name. I don't like baseball. I say, don't, Mal. Said Gloria, I'm close to making a real name for myself. Once I do that, I can go write books and we can live anywhere. But if we're going to grow but if we're going to grow this family, we are going to grow it as soon as I get published like we agreed. So go, oh God, Mal, what's happening to the world? And it's like I know these are scary times, but it'll get better. Say, like, Do you believe me? Say, Yes. Yes, you know I always do. And he's like, I was only a child then and he gets older. Good good one. Didn't argue, no trouble, but Grades average, no close friends, bad with girls, not very social. Spent most of the time with mom while dad worked. So, never comfortable meeting new people. So, we see that he, I think he beat up that dude or he bit, oh, yeah, so he bit that face off of that guy who calls him a fish. And we see uh, Mr. Freeze looking at him. And, um, we see that. We ask Hector Godfrey. The frontman editor, if he had any comments, so I was like, hmm, oh yes, baby. It's like, and just say, frankly, isn't it the time? It's like, frankly, isn't it time we reassessed Warshack as a patriot and American? Ooh, do you mind? It's like, can you, like, find another room, Josh? This paper's due tomorrow, so he's in college. It's like, following a tense bail hearing, Kovacs awaits trial of pending psychiatric, um, Psychiatric evaluation. Dr. Malcolm Long carried out the evaluation has his first interview with Corvax this evening. It's like, hey, isn't that your dad? That's your dad. He told the press when he felt confident and optimistic. And apparently, um, so Reggie Long, that's his name. And so his father is apparently defending Kovac, the original Rorschach. And then we just see some mosquito get, um, get popped. So he's going in, then we see the name Waylon Jones, obviously, um, Waylon Jones, obviously Killer Croc. And my man right here is across this um, bow, and we just see Mosquito die. He's wondering why he's here. It's like, why are you arguing about this? Why didn't you tell Mom? It's like, what's that noise? It's like, kids protesting the president, I guess, or Dr. Manhattan, I don't know. Where's Dad? And it's like, he's busy working on the Kovacs case, but it's great for your father, Reggie. It's a real opportunity. Everything I read about this guy, Rorschach, the news, the papers, honey, they have it all wrong. Your father's making real progress with this poor man. They, they've even become friends. And he's like, friends? It's like, don't worry, he's fine. Everything is fine. It's like, okay, Bob, but you don't sound. I gotta go. It's like, I love you now. I love you too. It's like, Kovacs, it's like, Kovac would save my dad's career. Bob said so, but the world went to shit. 
So we see that this is the becoming to the aftermath of everything that's happening, and Rorschach escaped. Okay, this was during the whole Watchman thing. Yeah, so his father was his um, his father was his psychiatrist. Interesting. Continued speculation that President Nixon has retreated to NORAD's Cheyenne Mountain Complex as tanks amassed in eastern Germany. So the whole world is about to get destroyed. And so we see him driving in his car. So the United States and Russia are avoidable collision course. No, you hit me. No, you hit me. And so... You just see, notes how Dr. Manhattan. In our greatest hour of need. And then we just see the whole explosion that happens. And, ah! and so he wakes up. Let me out. Let me out of here. So he's back um, in... Arkham, and then a psychiatrist named Dr. Mason comes in, he's like, he hears to, what's in the evaluation? He's like, I don't want to talk to you. Oh, I assume that, Mr. Doe, or John. There are many, there are so many Mr. and Mrs. down here. Might you tell me a real name? Your fingerprints, dental, and DNA match no records of any kind. All we have to read on is that you brought you that the Batman brought you here and locked you away. Can you tell me a little bit more about the Batman? How you met him? And we just see him see this third eye open. And he's like, no, are you all right? And he starts freaking out. And it's like, sir, can you move from the glass? Sir, I can't hear you. So, it's like millions died because of Vince's nightmare. Thousands survived. It's like, ah, oh, wish we had, when we wish we had it. So he's just remembering everything. So, it's like, American institutions overflowed. Mind snapped, driven mad. Pregnant women cut out on born babies, believing it was eating her eating her, man severed legs, wanting to be creature-like. I tried to gouge out eyes. So it's because he saw everything. Stop seeing the dead. He said, like, like stop seeing the dead. Day, night, day, night. So they show that he was put in a, he, they show that he was put in a psychiatric thing where, you know, the events of what happened after Dr. Manhattan left had him mad and so he left. He's like, never saw self as a fighter. And he's getting ready to jump and everything is Everything is like he can't take it anymore. He's getting ready to do it, and then he's like, Ugh. "He's like, hi, nice night for it." I say it's a warm for December, and they say the dimensional rift that opened that altered our seasonal clock. It's going to snow in June. Isn't that funny? I've enjoyed my time here at Fitzgerald, but I've had enough of their runny eggs and medicine lace cottage cheese. And he's like, "You're jumping too? Jumping? Oh no, I can fly." They said I couldn't, but I work hard and long. I don't know the secret of flight, you see? I visually, and I picture it right here, up here. I want to see that. I want, I see what I want to see, and what I see is what is. Well then, I'm off, and my man just flies. Walk on water. <laughs> and Kovac number two is just like, oh my gosh, dang. And the guy's like, you ever said in your ass? <laughs> so it's like, what do you see? It's like, what do you see, Mr. Long? Please, I don't want to look. And he's like, I don't want to look. So he saw, so they still, um, so they're trying to test him. And of course he says, wait, I see a, a moth. So I really like this guy. So it's like, moth flew to diner, sh ordered eggs, and sourdough toast, nothing but wings. Aaron Vett has proposed an unprecedented relief program, not only for New York, but the war tone war. So he's still looking through it. It's like, excuse me, one minute, son, I want to hear him. Hear who? And then we just see um, Ozymandias say, Today I'm proud not only to call myself American, but human. The Soviet Union and the United States are committed to my plans for rebuilding Afghanistan's infrastructure and safely relocating those displaced until such rebuilding is complete. One world, one accord. By the way, I told you, huh? I told you I could fly. They used to call me Mothman. So this is the guy who escaped. They caught him, obviously. He's like, who are you? Let me rephrase that, Mr. Doe. Who do you think you are? Why do you think the Batman put you here? And he's like, thinking, looking at him, bloated, arrogant, nothing like that, who was also psychologist. Did you seek him out, or did he find you? Why do you wear that mask? So he didn't, so he didn't talk, like, give him nothing. No need to get out. Need to find Manhattan. And then, of course, he said, I'll see you tomorrow. So he passes Mr. Freeze's room again. He's like, could be anyone, or no one. Probably watching now. Let's go, Doe. So you just see this chick called Doe Jane. It's like, mind tried, unreliable. It's like, Reggie, it's, it's like, hear voices in here, eyes shut. See boiled brains oozing out of ears, piled up blood soaked stuff. So, he goes back where he's under this, um, back where he was a psychiatric patient in the Watchmen world. So it's like, used to be a problem, but learn to change it. See what I want to see. Dad and Bob, happy alive. It's like, now those times are gone. I'm sorry about what happened to you. He's like, 
But when you picture your folks, you need to see them at their best instead of how they died. You have any photographs? Anything of theirs? No. Neighborhood, it was quarantined. Well then, I've been meaning to take a trip to New York and bring me your sheets. Like, sheets? Any loose bed springs? It's like, over the years, bribe and fly off, smuggle back contraband, licorice, scientific American. It's like, Reggie, Merry Christmas. So he got some stuff. It's like, one night, brought everything from Dad's desk. First interview with Kovacs. He's even more disturbed than I heard, but I'm optimistic. So he's reading his old, his dad's old um, reports on, um, reports on, um, his father, on his, on Kovac. So it is, it's like, I'm trying to, to put, I'm trying to put some together, but something's missing. Police reports are in my dad's files. New York State Psychiatric Hospital records. Even letters Walter Kovacs wrote when he was a kid. But dad's notes, only a few pages from his interview. Rest are gone. Someone must have stolen them. Uh, who would do that? Mom said he made a connection with Kovacs. Maybe someone didn't like that. My dad was a good man. And so, of course, these guys, the orderly sees that this guy has a, this, um, a mug, which is dad. And he's like, oh, it's mine. He's like, ah, oh, this is contraband. Let go. You know the rules. I will break your hands. What'd you say, you little shit? It's like, Jason, leave the boy alone. Uh, you goddamn worm. And you just see that his, uh, mug breaks. He's like, oh, no. Next time it's your face. He's like, dad, quit your whining and clean this shit up. Both of you. And then we just see him apart. He's like, I'm very sorry about that, Reggie. How do you, do you know how hard it is? How hard on what is? Some monster did it. Killed all those people. Mom, dad, scrambled my mind. Then it died. And I was left like this. All this anger inside of me. It's got nowhere to go. Sometimes I wish I was a little closer when it hit. Reggie, don't say that. Listen, I was never good at confrontation, but I watched the others. Learn a thing or two. My body isn't what it used to be and never was much to begin with. You, I see a fighter. It's like Silk Spectre used to use distraction. The comedian you surprise. So he trained him, Mothman trained him. And we just see expect it's like except I can still still can't find the darn piece. It's like hooray. And Apple Day keeps the doctor away. And the orderly is like, nothing's gonna keep them away from your retarded ass, Leonard. It's like what <laughs> so this guy's a dick. We just see Dollar Bill, Silhouette, Night Owl, Captain Metropolis, Hooded Justice, Mothman. Byron made me into a one-man Minuteman. So he learned all the moves from Mothman of the old Watchmen people. So he just punched him. Bam. It's like, even together, they were never going to be enough. It's like, get off me. Hard as they tried. So he has Kovacs' journal. It's like, world needed more. I needed more. So he's um, looking at that. And so he sees... Do you see that? It was stuck under the seam... Of the in the bottom of the box, it was right there. It's like right in front of us the whole time, and then we see Ozymandias. Just see Ozymandias. This shows that how Ozymandias did a better the world. It's like Miss Jupiter wasn't a smart woman, nor particularly more one. Not sure why she's such a statue. Why such a statue is necessary? They're rounding them up, rounding who up? The others like you, the ones who survive. They've been transferring them to a government facility in D.C. They want to know if anyone knows anything about Ozymandias, basically. Hey, Long. Don't bother sitting down. Your ass is being transferred. Fuck you! <laughs> Just fooled it. So he stabs this dude. Starts beating on him. It's like, it's been a while since we did this. It's like, what do you see? And you just see Warshak. <laughs> you just see October 11th, 1992. A new day, a bad day. Pretty much the whole world is going down. An alien creature has invaded the Institute of Interspatial Studies, has been removed from the enterprises for reanalysis in the Department of Defense. It's like, everything's changed. I have someone to blame. It's like, but why? I stay, I'll be shipped off to some government psych center while the rest of the world gets their hands on Ozymandias. It's like, Reggie, what if he didn't do it? Did, did it. Anyone can see. Let me just see, um... Him decide to cause a distraction, set the whole psychiatric hospital on fire. So he does that. We just see heat from the burning hill scorched the ground, stench of madness filled the logs. Hey, Brian, but the light was so bright, it's been calling to me. It's like I see it. See what, Byron? What do you see? And then, of course, he, the mothman, perishes. It's like, not until an hour later, you just see Reggie. It's like, Dear Reggie, I hope you can forgive me not having the fortitude to continue with you on your journey. With you, but mine lies elsewhere. When you remember me, I suggest you picture the first time we met. 
See a funny old man flying naked into the darkness of this early morning, if only to make you laugh. Although, as I've explained, clothes would have weighted me down too much with those wings I cobbled together. I don't know if these tickets if these tickets are still good, but I was invited there once, and I know it will not be an easy journey. And so it so pretty much goes like this. Like, you have been sending for a true moth to your to your compass for as long as I have known you. So you said so you should, or south, as it were. I pray that you reach your destination and find the truth you've been looking for. But I caution you because I care about you. Everything that brought us together may be a string of random events or it may be part of a grand design. But the truth is relative. What you see is all that matters. Your friend, now and forever, Byron. Pretty nice. First time held mask. So he takes a ship. On the Percy BC and got a ticket. So he's busy going to find Ozymandias. So you see this nice journey. Nice journey. And then he finds something. He's like, ugh. So he goes in. Progression. I like the progression panels of this. It's pretty nice. It's pretty sweet. So he goes in. And then he finds Ozymandias. And he has a knife. And he's like, if you're here to kill me, I might thank you. If who, if you make it quick, whoever you are. It's like, obviously... You're not Co Walter Kovacs. As I say, I'm, I'm Morshak. Like, and I can't imagine you were a friend of his either. Your clothes are wet. You're suffering from hypothermia. I'd also guess you haven't eaten in a few days. We're bo we both are troubled, you see. I have glioblastoma growing in my frontal lobe. And unfortunately, the only person I trust to operate on something like this is myself. It's like, I don't need to know what your name is. As surprised as I am to see someone dressed like him, I know why you're here. Because of what I did, the mistake. And it's like, mistake? You killed my parents. Screeching of creatures ruptured eardrums. A child's body burst open like a balloonist full of spaghetti sauce. And he just starts going in. It's like, most infected slit own throats. Blew out diseased brains. Lucky ones. Stayed. Fought. Survived this law. It's like, then do it. Make the world cheer. The celebration of war shacks. Like, Ugh. I wanted them to see a monster. It's like, but I am the monster. Oh, God. What have I done? I saw the, it's like, I'm, I'm sorry. I saw that, I saw the light too late. Body shaking, look in his eyes. Light, regret, remorse, pain. So he didn't kill him. He's like, Reggie. So he's back in Arkham. See what I want to see. He's like, Reggie, what I need to hear, what I want to. Maybe you'd prefer if I called you John Doe. He's like, I'm Jane Doe. I've been in your mind for a few days and whoa, is that a busy place. We need to get out of here before it's too late. I won't be around much for much longer. And he's like, who are you? A friend. Dad said we're all searching for enlightenment. We're drawn to it like bugs to a light. And then... We just see them when they decide... This goes back to when uh, Ozymandias and, and uh, Reggie, <laughs> Reggie Long decide to join forces. Like, we can still save the world, Reggie. But we can't do it alone. Like Kovacs, like me. Pulled them sank out of the darkness, turned them toward the light. I looks like I underestimated Mr. Doe. Yes, you certainly did, Master Wayne. As I stated, I wouldn't have left someone like him alone in Arkham. He knows too much, and we don't know enough. And I said, but what is light? And we just see now that everything is uh, gone. And it's like, different for everyone. But everyone looking, see what you want to see, no matter how small or how big we are. I mean, Jesse, the miracle is not to walk on water. The miracle to us walk on earth. Nice. Ending. C. Pretty deep. Pretty, pretty deep. Um, we were all worried about how Rorschach 2.0, known as Reggie Long, would be, but he's turned out to be an intriguing character. One that has had a tragic, tragic um, beginning. And who knows what will happen to him. But I give it, I give this a good 8.5 out of 10. Doomsday Clock has been a good piece of literature, actually. It is a good piece of literature. So, once again, thank you all for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and hit the notification. Make sure you're notified. Once again, I do these reviews for you, the people, because I want to discuss good comics and get your views on them. Thank you all for watching. I'll have more videos up tomorrow.